That's the power of the cameras of life, people. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> bro, oh my goodness. 2020 is finishing me, bro. Right? But do you know what? I saw a, um, I don't know if, it, I, I don't know, I wouldn't say it's a poem. I guess maybe I'll say a writing where someone wrote something where they were like, everyone saying 2020 is cancelled, blah, blah, blah. But what if 2020 is the year that it's going to be so uncomfortable for everyone and that we all realise that so much change needs to happen in everything, that that this is the year where, because everything is so uncomfortable and it's like literally, it's like bad news after bad news, that this is what will kind of like spark a change in the way we run things just in the whole world, not just kind of like, you know, like basically the whole um, Black Lives Matter movement, not just like kind of like racial uh, movement, but also just how we treat people or how we how we treat the world and yes how we treat the world as well yeah, yeah exactly so the I global mean, movements so that actually that actually makes sense i was like you know what that yeah like maybe this is kind of like what we need to basically move forward and start making a change where, where the world can become a much fairer place and a more interesting like you know what i mean so yeah yeah so i really when i read it i really liked it i thought you know what yeah thoughts out goes out to those who started the year with the new year new me and all that stuff and all them motives for uh, summer 2020 and all them you know yeah i honestly i just because i've been looking at kind of like my old snap memories and stuff like that right last year around this time was basically like a wicked three months where i was traveling just weddings my grad my master's graduation so so many different things were happening in kind of like last summer and it's literally like one of the best summers ever for me personally and then i just thought this year i'm gonna top it even more I'm gonna go to even more places i'm gonna have more things i had i had weddings planned not my wedding but you know other people's weddings which i was gonna attend and that kind of stuff and then literally it's like nothing is happening bruv <laughs> like there's no holidays there's no weddings there's no motives there's nothing um, and i'm looking at my memories from last year and i'm like bro this is so sad it it is what it is, is yeah, what I like to say. It is what it is. I mean, <laughs> you could look at it from that perspective as well, but then you can also look at it from a positive perspective as in like, okay, maybe not in terms of an extrovert way, not many things have happened, but in a more of an introvert where you've had a lot of time to work on yourself and in those ways, maybe you can look at That's it from true. an eventful that, that perspective, uh, ways which you might not have had been able to spend on if life was in its normal phase basically so there's a positive way to look at no, it right right very 100 percent. i think um like you just said yeah um it's a how do you say it? what am i trying to say i guess you know for like, basically we've all had to slow down and it's given people a chance to re- actually like evaluate their life and think about you know what is this what i want to do in life basically everyone's just kind of like being forced to have to think about what they're doing in life and well actually not everyone but most people um and you can basically sit at home you're getting paid if on furlough just to basically like, exist you know and i think that some people will find passions that they didn't think they had some people will reconnect with passions that they didn't that they stopped doing when they were you know and so maybe it's not like you said there's definitely positives that have come out of it but there's definitely been a lot more negatives and that's kind of like the concern you know yeah i agree i agree um yeah yeah, so like the negatives just thinking about how many people have died that's obviously the biggest negative and how even like countries like brazil are starting to increase well i mean on, on that on, on that note though like oh i mean so what's happened in terms of like the covid situation since we last spoke about it though like what in the uk anyways like I, I know we're starting to relax the rules on it but at the same time our numbers in terms of cases and death rates is, is probably in a worse position than it was when we went into it and then there's also a lot of other countries around us that are starting to relax their laws against the advice of specialists and then there's obviously a load of craziness going in the states at the moment and actually in many other countries as well at the moment so yeah like it's so much is going on around it and a lot of a lot of experts are preparing for a second wave i think maybe we're looking at it from a while back and we kind of expected this to happen but once things started to look good we're probably if you were to look at it in in some way it's like we're in the eye of the storm at the moment so we have passed a tough phase when like hospitals were overrun and you know people could see the illnesses and now we're at this phase now where you know people are starting to lose that fear they are seeing less and less of the effects of covid and they're like okay we're good now ah, life's starting to come back to normal football's coming back to normal everything's come back to normal places starting to open up so we're like yeah we're good we're good who knows what what's to come in terms because like i said we're, we're always talking about a second wave and we don't know how bad it can be